Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Tuki and this is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Let's go check out the remains of this gigantic ass ship. I think I've done that call already. Anyway, I'm gonna fight this asshole again. We can just kinda snake on by. Get up on that platform over there. Oh, was that up there? Oh, we got that, yeah. Oopsie. Ooh. Really? Again. Another one. should scan this. Probe droid. Some droids may have the ability to slice in and control probe's functions. Capable of being physically maneuvered and used as a weapon. Okay. The sinister Imperial probe droid, also known as a probot, <laughs> was an exploration and reconnaissance unit Deployed by the Galactic Empire. This lightly armored probe is equipped with six manipulative arms extending from a central pod and several retractable sensor arms. Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. I can't read the stuff online, guys, or my throat is not gonna last. Yeah. Oh, no, that's nothing. Yes. Hello. You're supposed to... Oh. Clearly not. Oops. What the hell? Whoa. Anyway. Oh, hello. Almost didn't see you. On red alert. Oh, lightsaber. The commander was killed by a lightsaber. A dead clone, Venator Wreck. A dead clone, but he wasn't killed in the crash. He appears to have been killed by a lightsaber. This needs power. Really? So, are you basically saying I got myself all worked up for nothing? Oh, I thought that was like a sneaky platform. This is just an elaborate dead end? God damn it. <laughs> Between the last episode and this episode, I was like systematically working myself up like, oh yeah, we're gonna check out this giant ship. No, you're not. And you need some sort of high jump to get up there. God damn it. Okay. I, so I completely thought that we were gonna like come in this way and come out that way. I 
interesting. Okay. Um, well, if that's the case, I guess we're just gonna go back. I'm pretty sure there's more, like, secrets in this area. We are certainly not done. But we're probably going to open up or breach a wall somewhere and it's going to drain this water. Which will allow us to, like, reach lower areas. It doesn't exactly show them. But yeah, then there's also that part. And oh, and this part. Yeah, okay. So there's just, like, all sorts of stuff that should still come. That's unfortunate. Okay, but... Oh, my bad. Sorry. Just quickly want to check. Uh, so we can go down here, which will bring us... Oh, right, then there was this whole area that we could explore. Any other green or yellow? Oh, there was that over there. Already found that one. So we can go this way next. Yeah, I know we're supposed to go back to the ship, but that's boring. What happens when you start playing Skyrim, the moment you get out of that cave, is you... is you ignore the waypoint, taking you to Whiterun, to, you know, alert the people about the dragons, and you just yeet yourself in the opposite direction, and that's how you properly play it. Woohoo! Sure you will. Good night. Ha ha. Moronicus stupidicus. That's what you are. So where does this go? This just takes us straight up back to the ship. And then there's still that whole freaking... Where was it? Oh, this area up here. Which we take... Just a slightly different elevator. But I feel like I might have missed something down here. So let's check this out. Where does this go? Hey. God, what's this? Waste of our time. I got him. I'm injured. Oh, Jesus, is this like a quick? Eyes up. Don't mind to kill Jedi. Fast. 
Does this? Oh, whoa! See her. Good. I just God. a trooper wearing black and red armor. The same type from Baraka. A purge trooper. Their only purpose is to hunt Jedi. Electro Baton Purge Trooper. Armed with Electro Batons, they may attack in flurries of quick strikes, but vulnerable after finishing the initial attack. An agile and shifty counter attacker, able to dodge and parry incoming strikes. Good God. Are the Inquisitors coming? It's possible, but we're far from Braca. They might think purge troopers are enough, or they could be stalling you on purpose. Stay wary. A little help. Either way, I did not expect that. That's an excellent find. It will need my personal evaluation. Hmm, okay. So, Broken Pot, a tool dropped in excitement over a mysterious find by a worker during the excavation. It appears they found what they were looking for. Okay. So we're still on the trail of Officer Crane. Excuse me? What's, What's up? That? Big old saw? Excavation saw. These excavation saws were specifically designed to cut through planetary bedrock, giving the Empire access to secrets thousands of kilometers below the surface. Hmm. Oh, all right then. Find something, BD1? New BD1 skin. Sure. That's better. New lightsaber material. Sarah coat. Useful, I guess. We wanted to go up here anyway to get back to. No. I mean. What the hell? I'm trying to suss it out. Ah, we'll figure it out. One skill point. Let's have a look. Where will, uh, we need to be able. Oh yeah, I forgot that this was a thing. God, I need to keep remembering. Uh, wait longer. Waiting longer to press attack after Cal swings his double-bladed lightsaber. Lightsaber for continuous swings. Okay. Agile deflection. Cal automatically deflects blaster bolts while he is sprinting or wall running. More life. Improved stems. I want improved stems, please. Yes. So these guys behind us are gonna respawn now. Which is okay, uh, you know. Whatever. Let's take this and, you know, watch the rocks clipping through the walls. If that was a thing. I did not imagine it. You can also see through the world there. Uh, you see the rocks going right through the world. Uh -huh. Winky, 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 winky. What's up, BD1? You still back there? Come on. Now, just to remember, okay. So, the way back. Cause I want to go over here to this area. That goes over here. Which is essentially tied to. Alright. 
I just gotta map it out in my head. It's way up there. Huh? The game's performance is stressing me out a little bit. You can see how laggy it is. And the sound... The sound also like jitters and stutters. Which is very strange because this is on my solid state. And I have 32 gigs of RAM. So... Yeah, this shouldn't be an issue. Okay, this goes all the way over here. Okay, so now we should... How did someone sneak in? He won't stand still! Oh, he's on the run! You don't be next! So, I just want to come over here. No ship respawn. But yeah, spinning around like that shouldn't lag as much. Oh. Yeah, like this. oh hi. This door needs to open. I see you guys over there. Ooh, okay. Safe spot right over here. That's useful. Yes. So, right now I have a feeling either it's OBS causing this strange lag, or I just don't know. Do not concern yourself with a missing artifact. I'll deal with it personally. Hmm. It's probably the one she stole. Yeah, a tool. Okay. A crate used by the Empire to transport relics found in the exhibition. An Imperial officer seemed to be misleading about it. Okay, so they eventually found one and she stole it. So we're going to find number seven, which is like she fled with it. Then eventually hit that cave down there. No survivors, shoot him! Suppressing fire! It's you and me now. I'm murdering. I am not losing this. Really? I knew it would end like this. <laughs> what, he, you, you? You would be alone? What's that little guy? You're gonna murder you, he's kinda staring at you. And I know I don't wanna kill you. The innocent little droid. Nothing, nothing. Not even interactable. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it. Really, game? Really? Jeez. You, uh, know any jokes, BD? I don't know. Why? <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Jeez. Pretty sizable facility, huh? Oh, I love this a lot. Guy. Really? 
gonna do all of this? Toss it. I'll get you. And I love being a Jedi. A Jedi? Jedi. What did I check it out? Huh? Oh. Stormtrooper Commander, huh? Commands nearby stormtroopers, allowing focused and synchronized fire on targets. Equipped with grenades. Haven't we seen you before? I feel like I've come into contact with you before. Oh. This is where we are in relation to the temple. Okay. Oh. So definitely not going this way. Also definitely not going this way. That makes my options kind of easy. Slice this door. Oh, hell no. Y'all can wait. That's a black stormtrooper, dude. Or a attack, attack stormtrooper. Can you go up there? Is this a bully one? Is it red? Yeah, it's red. This is a bully one. Okay. Oh, is this an elevator? It's an elevator. It goes down. I expected it to go up. Well, okay then. Never mind. Let's go fight the guy that's almost, probably, most definitely going to kill us. Come on. Does it have to be an ominous red pit? I can't even get... Oh, no, wait. There's like a, a wall running section over there. This is not a one way either. Okay, you know what? Fine. Give me a fight, Jedi. What do you do? Shoot me. And right here. Does it hurt? <laughs> Does it hurt? <laughs> Why if you're fighting a Jedi and you're like an exterminator or what were they called? Eradicate, whatever, you know, meant to destroy Jedi and you know what a Jedi can do, but then you still stand like on an edge. Like, I dare you to push him. And then I push him and then he's like, what went wrong? Oh. Uh. What is that glowing? Oh, come on. This gave me such a tease. I'm curious where this is taking me. Oh. But is that the Venator? Oh, this? Okay, so this is how you reach this spot. 
All right, well. Okay. I basically took a giant old loop de loop to get to the same place. Let us get more health or agile deflection. This is two. Repulse, burst slow. I don't really use slow that much. Agile deflection. More life. I'm always okay with more life. Never gonna argue with more life. Not dying is one of the positive points. Let's see. Yep. Okay, well, nah, we know the way from here. So I guess we can just take the shortcut system back to the ship now. it is if you come through that hole there's like this giant thoop, like somebody launching a freaking uh, mortar right in your inner ear <laughs> so which one oh god which one was it this one right Okay, so I pushed him, but not his rocket. So this one takes us right back to the here. I'm under an Imperial dig site. We got a lot further than we thought. We can't worry about that now. Whoa. The Empire's identified you as Whoa. a Jedi from Baraka. They're searching for the Mantis as we speak. Can't you move the Mantis? <laughs> it's too risky to start the engine. Whoa. Its power discharge will draw their attention Whoa. immediately. <laughs> I'll be back as fast as I can. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Whoa. So that's how we get back down there. All right. Open the one way. Aha. What's up? That's a Scout Trooper Baton. Imperial Electro Baton given to troopers stationed in remote areas where unexpected threats may arise. These weapons were crafted from the same components as Clone Wars era Electra staffs, but have updated Imperial modifications. <laughs> oh, sliced M and F. Uh, what? Oh, he's attacking my ship. Uh, now we've got a walker firing on us, and our yep. weapons are down. I can Is that him? Well, tell him he better get his butt. Hey! Hold on. I don't Hold know on. how the hell I'm gonna attack you, but I have a lightsaber. And you have legs, so whatever. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a rocket. Oh, God. I get it. Stay away from me, you ugly asshole. Oh. Don't step on me. I would prefer it if you don't step on me. This is probably where agile deflection would have been useful. Oh, 
Toss it. Oh, fuck. PD1. Jesus Christ. Follow the same spin. patterns, you asshole. I'm amazed I'm still alive. Do I have, like, metal plate under my skin? God, I'm the worst at blocking. No. Stim! If this is all this is, it's not so bad. Come on. One more. Easy peasy. ATSD defeated. Oh! Susceptible to sabotage of its own grenades and missiles. Legs are vulnerable. Okay, so I could have just gone up and, like, attacked it. All terrain scout transport. Oops. Really? You're gonna try and have a go at me? Really? Really, dude? I just took down your entire vehicle and you came at me with a pistol. <sighs> at least it didn't break my ship. That foot is still there. Hello, I'm home. Nice work out there, kid. Hey, you got some real moves on you. <laughs> I'm a Jedi. Just tell me that this visit wasn't for nothing. I found the tomb of a Zepho Sage. They definitely use the Force. An advanced civilization of Force wielders who mysteriously vanished. No wonder Master Cordova became so obsessed with them. What else did you find? Before they disappeared, the Zepho journeyed to the planet Kashyyyk. Oh. Cordova had a Wookiee friend named Tarful. Maybe we can find him. Sheik, I look, things are really bad down there. The the Empire's muscling in on those Wookiees big time. So we better get ready for a fight. I think this lifestyle suits you. Fighting that walker seems to have made you more confident. So, how are you holding up? I mean, with the Force? Yes, with the Force. I know you said it could be overwhelming. Haven't gotten myself killed yet. Rather not talk about it. Yeah, well, I understand. More than you realize. Well, why'd you choose to stop using the Force? When the Purge started, and our clone troops turned against us, my Padawan and I took several younglings and we went into hiding. But we didn't last long. Imperial Patrol was about to discover our location, so I tried to lure them away from my Padawan Trilla. She stayed behind with the younglings, but they caught me, and they tortured me. They wanted to know about the others and how many were left, but mostly they wanted to know about Cordova and where he went. But you escaped. It was a prison riot. I saw my opportunity and I took it. But they almost broke me. And I am not the same as I was, Cal. Your Padawan. Did she survive? No. That's why we can't give up. We can't let the sacrifice of those closest to us be for nothing. Okay, so... Oh. Uh, Seer shares an awful memory about her past. During the trip, she was captured and tortured by the Empire. She was about able to escape with the problem. Was also lucky years later. She the event has left us scarred and reluctant to use the force. Why? Why are you why did that make you reluctant to use the force? It's huge now. 
What? Did I get anything else? No, I didn't. Can I eat anything? No, I can't. Please. I'm trying to collect my thoughts. Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Everything okay? Oh, great. Just enjoying some peace and quiet. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Um. Cordova had supplies hidden all over Bagano. Could be worth a trip back to explore. You think? Well, it says we can access that door now. What else? Oh, and that bridge. But that reminds me, I'm not done here yet. I'll be back. I just quickly need to go see what the hell was... It was through here, right? Yeah, I wanna just get to that bridge. Alright. I'll be back. Was there... Really? I never came through here? God, I'm an idiot. Okay, well. Let's speed run, boys. So mad, now I have to do this bullshit slow puzzle again. Why are you walking like that? The pill act hit me there. Found the target! Let's do this! Oh, he's shaking! Oh, he's shaking! You feel stupid. If he gets away, command will kill us. Get back that way again. Hey, something we can use? You're right. <laughs> Sounds fancy. Is there anything else we missed in this area besides the very? obvious door that I never went to because I'm the smartest person alive oh so I literally just came down here and I was like lol who needs the other side Egypt alright well that little pit stop out of the way. Let's get going back to Bagana, right? It seems like there's two little things that opened up. Yes, hello. Let's go. Pick anywhere except Dathomir. Hate that place. <laughs> Bagano. Let's go. Have you ever thought of redecorating? The mantis? Why would I? Eh, wouldn't hurt to throw some art on the walls. Something new to look at. Since when do you care about art? I've always liked it. When I was younger, I used to pour through every piece I could find at the Jedi archives. Did you critique them too? I admired them. 
When I became a seeker, I got to see a few in person. So many different cultures in the galaxy, and each one had their own unique works of art. It was breathtaking. Sit down, kid. It's time to land. You're making good progress, Cal. Thank you. Come here, little guy. I can push this open now. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We'll find you a home. Boggling companion? You've gained a boggling stone. Kind of sphere and socket from Zepho. Look around the mantis. Do you think it does? Oh, we can. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is gonna take a while. This is gonna take a while. Need to get it lined up. No, not that way. So, how do you think this is gonna work? We have to get it like over in that corner? And maybe. Oh, 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 oh. Should have waited a little bit longer. Okay, let's try again. Oh, damn it. to do yeah I gotta line this one up just right It doesn't help if I like force push a random pillar. You know what? I'll cut back when <laughs> when I have it. Okay, that took a thousand years, but here we are. And all that for a health canister. With this, you and I are going to be unstoppable. There. Really? With this, one extra stim canister will be unstoppable.
Okay, so with that out of the way, there's one more spot on this planet that I can think of. Well, two, but one for now. Hello. Hello. It's funny, like, how I came here the first time. I was so careful with my movements and everything. And now, now that I'm, like, more comfortable with the character, I'm just, like, jumping, vaulting over places I really shouldn't. So, somewhere, I remember at the top there was a block. I think it's the spot, yeah. Which we could just, like, push it down. So I think we're gonna go that way. Yeah, you better run, you... Flappy-tailed asshole. I don't think so. Hey! Be nice. Y'all need Jesus. Can I wall run this? I can. See? Advanced strats. So there was this block. Yes, that block right there. Nah. We can push this. Which opens up a shortcut the other way. Here we can push that thing down. Ha! Ah. Ah. Ah, I think I need help here. Hey now. Did you find something, BD1? What? Ooh! Pretty in pink! Don't mind if I do. The Great Divide. Whoa. Alright, oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's keep checking it out. Hello, little guy. What's this area about? Are those... Uh, I almost thought those were more chests down there. Yes, slice it up. Good work, BD1. <laughs> Cordova's repair kit. He hoped someone would pick up his trail, but left BD1 to guide them. Old memoirs. Cordova's droid kit. He hoped someone would come along who could figure out the secret of the vault. And someone did. My friend, I flew with all haste to Coruscant and presented my findings to the Council. My friend, I flew with all haste to Coruscant and presented my findings to the Council. Despite my persistence, despite my research, they do not take this threat seriously. Only one person believed in me. My old confidant, Jocasta Nu. She entrusted me with a holocron from the Jedi archives. A secret copy of her list of young Force sensitives. Oh. Huh? Droid Cairn. These scraps served as cairns for the droids who helped build the research station on Bagano. Without their help, little would be known about the Zephyr or their vault. Oh, well, thank you. 
little droids. Anything else interesting in here? Oh. This health belonged to Cordova. Feels weird to say about someone I've never met, but it's kind of comforting. You're not super steep. I agree. This place is special. I'm taking this hilt with us. Emitter, anything new? Duty and resolve. Ooh, this one looks kind of cool. In the Cordova. I like this one. This one is kind of small, minimalist. Duty and resolve. Two. Duty and resolve. One. Valor and Wisdom. Elemental Nature. Duty and Resolve 2. Ino Cordova. That's like old timey. Marcus, that looks uncomfortable. This looks like this looks comfy. This looks like rubber. This looks also rubberish. More leatherish, leather strapish. This looks like metal and I don't know, is that a different kind of metal? I mean it fits. It's kinda dark, can't see. Architron. Durasteel. I like this. Oh, Architron. Fancy. Sure. Let's give it a... <laughs> I know it literally makes no difference. It's not like... Uh, Knights of the Old Republic where your crystals and customizable crystals and stuff makes a difference in the strength and weaknesses of your lightsaber. Maybe if they bring about... Or if this game gets... Uh, what do you call it? A sequel. Maybe they'll bring in more ways to customize customize your fighting style. Oh, this is where we are. Okay, not bad. But now we need to go down on that side. Sure, let's do it. This is probably just gonna loop back. Looks slippery. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Otherwise that would have just gone there and we would have climbed up. All right, fair enough. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I can see your fin up there. Bones. Bones. Yeah, but they're incredibly old. Can't tell much from them. Ancient remnants of sentient species do find together any information. Oh! Too easy. Oh! That scared me a little. Tomb? Burial site? An ancient burial site. An ancient burial is specially fashioned for an unknown race. Oh. Uh. Well, that was that, huh? Okay, 
the music picking up? Okay, well, we're gonna head back to the ship. And then I guess the only thing for us to do is... Head on over to Kashyyyk. This is a little bit of an awkward way to get back there. I'm sure they did the best they could. Enjoy being slow forever. <laughs> uh, okay. What's up? I'll check it out. Mysterious skeleton. Uh, large reptilian and lots of that's old. Is it one of you? But wasn't there something up there we could slice? Hmm. I'll figure it out when we come back here again. Yeah, I want to say thank you everybody for hanging out with me today. I enjoy the Metroidvania-ish style of this game. I'll go and fight that asshole at some point as well. I want his sweet, sweet XP juices. Also, Ori and the Blind Forest has a sequel called Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Which is coming out, I think, a week from when this video goes live. And I'm very sorry. Star Wars, I love you. But... When Ori comes out, you're gonna go on, on pause for a bit. While I love and enjoy uh, Star Wars a lot, I love... Or, or I love... Too quiet. I enjoyed. Not a fan of nature, Grease? Huh? Not only behind glass. Otherwise, nature's not a fan of me. <laughs> I mean, I may have four arms, but if you haven't noticed, I'm basically bite-sized for most deadly creatures. Uh, I think there's a safe point back here. Yes. Okay, and that'll do it for now. Thank you for hanging out with me today, guys, and I will see all of you in the next episode. I appreciate a like and a comment down below. I would appreciate it even more if you would tap that sub button. But see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.